everybody. Day 69. Looky here, everybody. On the back side of Glassenberry Mountain, we got snow, baby. And we're gonna get more today, too. So we're gonna go up and over Stratton as well. So, yeah. We found the snow, everybody. And, uh, yeah, not really sure how far we're gonna go today. We never do. But yeah. What else, what else? Oh, I slept pretty good last night too. And my feet feel 100%, so. They'll be wet here in about 10 minutes though. <laughs> I just got to uh, do what I know what I gotta do and dry them out in the middle of the day, so. All right, everybody, free to touch base. And I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views like I do, baby. So, all righty, guys. What's happening, everybody? Looks like we got another day of walking in clouds. <laughs> but this trail is still cool. And there has not been any trail maintenance on this whole section of Vermont. They're not getting out here yet, everybody. So means we got to deal with all the blowdown but whatever hard to keep a good pace though when you got sticks and logs everywhere but that's okay like I say we don't have to be anywhere today so it's not a big deal Alrighty guys, forget to show you the trail. Check this out everybody. This little side trail to this marshland or whatever it is. Check this out everybody. It's super cool. Yeah, this is a place to see a moose, I think. I've been seeing their poop all over the place. So they're around. They're just, uh, they're very elusive for as big as they are, everybody. Yeah, they're hard to find. All right, guys, here to show you. Check this out, everybody. That's where we came from. Looky, looky. Oh, baby. That's beautiful. Yeah, super cool, everybody. So, we're just walking around it right now. Looky, looky, everybody. Super cool. What's happening, everybody? So, I figured I'd break you out. I haven't got my camera out of my pocket in like five miles everybody about two hours uh yeah i had to put myself back in check uh yeah trail's been so muddy and so many blow down and sticks all over the place you can't even get a pace everybody so yeah i had to put myself in check 
no matter how bad it gets, everybody, uh, I'm still lucky to be out here. So, yeah, even though this morning was kind of crazy, and I did not, yeah, I don't know what happened to my mental game this morning. It's like an hour and a half of just terrible, terrible thoughts going on. Nothing, nothing too terrible, just, yeah. I was sick of walking in the mud, that's for sure. We got a little break for it right now, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's gonna be muddy. So, I just gotta deal with it. And I'm glad that I stopped for a while. I stopped in trail for like, I don't know, five minutes. Just staring around. Just staring at the mud and the rocks and the blowdowns and yeah. And then I realized, you know what? It ain't that bad, everybody. <laughs> White blaze. So yeah, I figured I'd let everybody know that uh yeah, I didn't get the camera out for like five miles because I was in some kind of weird mood that was I should have never been in. Cause I knew what to expect today. Just, yeah, I don't know what the deal was, but I'm over it now, baby. Back to the old self. So, yeah, I ain't gonna let nothing get me down. That's pointless in life and everything. I mean, there's no sense of getting down, everybody. It just, it just makes you, makes you intolerable to yourself. And I'm glad no one's around me, cause, yeah. Nobody wants to be around that either, everybody. So remember that next time you get in a bad mood, just try to get out of it as quick as you can because it's not good for you or not good for anybody around you. So, alrighty guys, let's go get Stratton Mountain and uh, stay out of this funk. Check this out everybody. It's pretty neat, actually. I thought it was gonna be a big grassy field, but dude, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is cool trail. I like it. What's happening, everybody? Check this out. This is the top of Stratton Mountain. That's where a caretaker stays. So, sweet. And right up here a little bit is a fire tower. Oh, right there. There's a fire tower, everybody. And it's raining on me, so it's cloudy. I don't think I'm going to go up there. Maybe. We'll see. Check this out, everybody. This is Stratton Pond. Pretty sweet, huh? And in 2012, we pretty much all sat right here and hung out for like hours swimming here. 
but today's not swimming weather, so we're not swimming. All righty, guys. Looky here. Prospect Rock, everybody. Why not? Let's get around the edge. Check this out. Finally a view today. Super cool, though. All right, guys. Figured I'd show you Prospect Rock. What's happening, everybody? That's where it came from. And that's where we're going, everybody. So I've been out of food now. I don't know, four miles. <laughs> and I have no food in my bag anywhere. No food nowhere. Uh, and I actually noticed last night when I was eating dinner that I was not going to have enough food for today. So, I, uh, yeah, I didn't eat very much food today, everybody. And now we're almost to the road that takes you into Manchester Center uh, where I'm going to get more food. Because, uh, yeah. I did not bring enough food for this little 60 mile stretch we did. Not at all. I brought enough for like a 35, 40 mile stretch, not 60. So today, everybody, and I'm struggling. I need more food. But we're almost there, like two miles away from the road. So don't worry, everybody. I got more food coming. Uh, I just can't wait to get to this road and get into town i'm going to demolish some food at i don't even care what restaurant it is the first restaurant i see is where i want to go because i'm starving yeah i knew better than to try to make it that far and what little food i had that was a terrible terrible decision everybody but you know what whatever it's not like i'm gonna die i'm only got the three miles away to some food and they'll be all good to go. So yeah, that's what the dealio is, everybody. We're going into Manchester Center. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to find a hotel room. And some food, for sure. Food's probably first. And then, uh, I got to sew my shorts, everybody. I got the crotch, like, almost, there's probably, like, a two and a half inch hole. Yeah. And I didn't notice it. Right in the crotch, too. So, and I don't wear underwear when I hike because it gives me chafing. So, yeah, a hole in my shorts is no good. So, I got to fix that tonight. I got to get this video out. Yesterday's video. I had no service all day today. None last night. So, yeah, I told you guys it was going to be spotty. And it's getting spottier and spottier. So, get into Manchester Center. Get yesterday's video out and get today's video out. And then I'll plan on to be in somewhere every two days to get Wi-Fi or something. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I can still do them every day. I have no idea. But <laughs> today, there was no way I was getting out of video. Last night or today. So, yeah, 1X, baby. It means no service for me. I need like two, three bars LTE to get a video out. So... All right, guys, that's what it is. We're almost that road. It takes us into Manchester Center, so I forget to tell you. All righty, everybody. End of the day wrap-up. Day 69. Left the Goddard Shelter, which was 
And we're now sitting at the Palmer House Motel, everybody. It's uh, Vermont 11 and 30. The road that takes you into Manchester Center, Vermont. 1652.9 um, makes it a 30 mile day, everybody. And I tell you what, it was a rough 30 to get. The first eight miles this morning was brutal. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the mud. I don't really know what it was. But uh, yeah, it was it was tough, everybody. And then after that, we just hammered down, got to Manchester Center because I needed food, and so did T-Rex. Uh, we were both down to like, well, I was down to nothing. I'm pretty sure he was down to nothing, too. I had one backup dinner, but that was it. I would have had to stop and cook, and that wasn't going to happen this close to Manchester Center, so... Yeah, we pushed on, got into here, I don't know, it's about 6.30, I think. And then we checked in this hotel, the Palmer House Hotel, which is really nice, everybody. They actually got a nine-hole nine golf course on this property, 16 acres. So, But I'm not playing golf, everybody. I'm hiking. So, yeah, like I say, today was brutal. Uh, one of the hardest days I've had on trail, I think, uh, physically not mentally, but physically for sure. Uh, it was just, man, mud and blowdowns and sticks and yeah, nothing seemed to go right. Could not get a pace to save my butt. But we got her done. 30 miles, baby. And that's always a good day when you can pull 30 through that kind of terrain. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty tired. Getting ready to go in here and go to bed. I got breakfast here, which looks like a really good breakfast from... Uh, 8 in the morning till 10 in the morning? Something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to miss it. So we'll be there for breakfast. So alrighty, guys. I hope you had a great day. And uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. My feet today looked just like yesterday. And I even changed my socks. Like with seven miles left to go of the day, I changed my socks into dry socks. But you know what, everybody? It don't last long. Those wet shoes get your socks wet again, but it made my feet feel good for like four more miles, so the last three, yeah, it's kind of tough, but whatever, feet dried out now, and they feel good, so, yeah, it's just when they get all pruned up, I don't know, they get pruned up for so long, you just keep walking on them, it makes them sore, but like I say, they dry out, and they're good to go, so, all right, everybody, sorry for the short video today, but I was trying to concentrate on not falling on my butt, all muddy and slippery and sticks and yeah trail's a mess today everybody so that's what it is everybody day 69 30 miles baby and i hope you guys had a great day and i will talk to you in the morning